Thanks for trying my curator. Let's get started posting content to your site. After installing the plugin, go to the My Curator dashboard, the first menu item in the My Curator menu. Copy your API key that you received in your emails when you signed up for a plan. Paste it into the API key field and click the Validate and Get Plan button. Your plan details should show up. At this point, we can add some content with our Get It tool. Go to the Get It and Source It menu item. Look for the Get It link and just click down, don't let up yet, and drag it to your bookmarks bar. Let up and it will drop right there. There are also instructions for your phone and tablets, and our Get It video goes into more detail. Now, as you're reading on the web and find an article you like, like this article on getting started with content curation, just click Get It, a window will pop up, and you can choose what category the article should post to, and then click Save to Draft. In your WordPress dashboard, find the new draft and edit it. Notice you have an excerpt and attribution link ready to go. Also an image as your featured image, if one could be captured from the article. Our Options menu item lets you change all sorts of formatting, such as embedding images versus featured, size of excerpt, and text of attribution link. Let's change the excerpt. Highlight the current excerpt and delete it. Below the editor is the full text of the article. As you hover over, paragraphs are highlighted in yellow. Just click on a great paragraph or two that summarized the thrust of this article, and it's inserted. Now let's sell the article to our readers by inserting our opinion of why they should read this. Afterwards, click Publish, and boom, you've created some content in just seconds. You can see it up on your site. Back at the My Curator dashboard, below the plan info, is our setup checklist. Rather than finding articles by yourself, you can have My Curator check all of your favorite sites throughout the day for articles you like. There are three main steps adding sources, creating topics, and linking sources to topics. Sources are RSS feeds from sites, Google Alerts, news, and Twitter searches. These tell my, my Curator what to read. Topics tell My Curator articles to look for based on keywords as it reads each article in your sources. Based on your keywords and other options in the topic, articles will be accepted or rejected by My Curator. Finally, you need to tell which sources are read by which topic. As you complete each step, the red thumbs down will be replaced by a green thumbs up to monitor your progress. Onward to Sources. To start adding sources, let's grab our Source It tool. Sources tell my curator what to read. Just as you would read blogs, alerts, and news feeds, so does my curator. The sources are stored in the WordPress links pages. Click on the Source It link don't let up and drag it to the bookmarks toolbar. You can unclick to drop it. There are also instructions for using it on your tablet or phone. We're going to curate articles on, of all things, content curation. Whenever you're browsing a site and you want to use it as a source, just click the source at bookmarklet, finds the RSS feed for the site. Sources have a category and we're going to group our sources into the content creation source category. Just submit and we're done. Sometimes the Source It tool can't find a feed on a site. Not all sites encode their feeds in the standard format. In that case, you can find the feed manually by looking for the feed icon or a link to feeds. Go to the feed and try the Source It button to capture it. You can also copy the feed link and use our Source Quick Add to add it. Just paste in the URL, give it a name, a category, and save it. Google Alerts are a great source of articles. You can create a Google Alert at alerts.google.com if you have a Gmail account. Make sure you save it with a delivery method of RSS feed, not email. At your alerts page, just click on the feed icon and then click your source it button when you see the computer coded feeds page to add it. Now we've told my curator some of the sources we want it to read. It will actually read the full text of each article within the RSS feed of the sites or alerts we've saved. Now we need to tell it what to look for while it is reading. For this, we need to create a topic. In the My Curator menu, we choose Add Topic, and we get the new topic page. Give the topic a name. I'm going to give it Content Curation. 
I'll fill in some of the key fields. You can find out more about all of the topic fields in our documentation or topics video. In the topic search one field, each of the words entered here must be found in the article or the article will be skipped. You may leave this field blank and it will match all articles. I'm going to use curate with no E, no quotes, and the root of the word will match curate, curation, curating, etc. In the topic to search two field, I'm going to add at least one of the words entered here must be found in the article or the article will be skipped. You may leave it blank and it will match our, all articles again. In the minimum article length field, I'm going to add the number of words that I expect to see in an article before I save it. If it doesn't have that many words, it'll be skipped. I'm going to go now and assign a category. And this is the category when it will be posted to the main site. This is the WordPress category that you enter here. Finally, we need to assign the source to this topic. This links what we want my curator to read with what it looks for. Notice that we link by the source category and not have to link each individual feed. Submit and we now have a new topic. You can find out more with our topics video in our documentation. Back at our dashboard, you can see our thumbs up on the setup. Below is now our processing status. Make sure you come back to the dashboard to turn on the background process after setting up my curator. My curator will start looking for articles in a few minutes as shown. After the time has passed, you may see a report of the articles it has found and posted to your training posts. It may, though, have just requested articles from our cloud process. You will see a time when my curator will go and fetch these requested articles. After a complete cycle of looking for articles, requesting from the cloud, and fetching them, you should have some articles in your training posts menu item on the WordPress dashboard, up near the posts menu item. The report below the processing status will show you articles found, errors, and any pending requests, with directions on how to investigate further using our logs menu item. Let's post some more content. Go to the training posts menu item in the dashboard, usually just below the comments menu item. You will see all of the articles that my curator has found here. My curator's content discovery engine is one of its most powerful features. By training it, you can save hours per day in finding but just the content you want. You train my curator by clicking on the training tags. Green thumbs up to say I like this, red thumbs down to say no, I don't like this. My curator will classify articles as good or bad based on your training, showing up in these columns over to the right on your training posts. This will allow you to save time by ignoring the bad articles. View our training video and documentation for more details. You can click on the title to see the full text on the pop-up to review articles easily. To curate an article, just click Make Live and we go to the WordPress editor. Just like the Get It article earlier, the excerpt and abstribution are already in the window. Down below, you will see a meta box that contains the full text and all of the images of this article extracted from the web page. I'll just click on this image to insert it too. I can format its location and how big it is. I could also make this a featured image. Back in the editor, you can see my new paragraph and image. I'll just enter some commentary and when I click publish, it's live. So in just a few minutes, you've set up and curated a post with my curator. At our site, we have lots of training videos for more in-depth help. If you have a pro or business plan trial, Watch our planning video next for a more in-depth look at the My Curator concepts of topics and sources. Make sure to check out our training video to use the powerful machine learning features of My Curator to find the articles you like. Our curations and notebooks videos will give you many ideas for more complex curation for deeper and more enriching content. We have written documentation on all aspects of My Curator in the documentation tab on our site. Thank you.